Hello, and welcome to another episode of Matea Valley Calculus Tutorials. In the previous episode, you learned about integration by parts, which is really useful. However, for many occasions, it is too long-winded, as in this one, where you repeat it over and over and over and over and over until finally you get a smiley face. But this particular deriv uh, integral is a special candidate for what is known as tabular integration. In tabular integration, you must have two types of functions. One that does not derive to zero, and the other which does. In the previous example, 3x to the fourth times e to the x, 3x to the fourth derives to zero by various derivatives. And e to the x never goes away, because its derivative and integral is always e to the x. So it is easy to make a chart with u and dv, where dv by lipid would be e to the x, and u would be 3x fourth, x to the fourth. Now, following lipid rules, u, you would take the derivative, so 12x cubed. Then, you would take the integral of e to the x, so e to the x. Then, you take the derivative again from the left side, 36x squared. e to the x, just going to repeat this process various times, 72, e to the x, 0, e to the x. Now, in integration by parts, the terms are alternating, as seen by this, this result right here. Negative, positive, negative, positive. So, you must also alternate your signs here. So, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Remember that you always start on positive. Then, you just make a tic-tac-toe. 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 Like that. So you finally get positive 3 to the fourth times e to the x minus 12x cubed e to the x plus 36x squared e to the x minus 72x e to the x plus 72e to the x minus. 0, but 0 is 0. And then you add C, like always. e to the x is not the only candidate for this. There are also various other non-repeating functions, such as sine of x, or therefore cosine of x. There are also others, such as square roots, cube roots, fourth roots, if you ever encounter those. All of these can be repeated in dv. Remember that the left side, u, must always be a polynomial, such in this case, 3x to the fourth. Also remember that it doesn't need to be a single term. It can also be 3x cubed plus 6x minus 12. Either way. Whatever, whatever is a polynomial will eventually go to zero. So it is, as long as it is paired with something that repeats, it is a candidate for tabular integration. Thank you.